Hello everybody, my name is Kaline3639, welcome back to another video. Today in this one, it's going to be another deck profile video, and in this one, it's going to be on B Trooper Kaiju. Yeah, it's a very interesting build, maybe a little too early. Uh, B Trooper is a new archetype in the game that came out in Dawn of Majesty, and I, it really has some really good potential to it it's going to need a little bit more support and i do understand that but this is the deck i am bringing it to you today but before we get into the video no this ain't going to be tier one or anything like that hell i think it's barely even rogue at best but the reason why i want to make this is because first off it has a really good potential and i want to, people to know this deck has potential and let's try to maybe pick up a core of this uh, B Trooper uh, core and then maybe sit on it wait for the better support to come out because again This is a TCG exclusive archetype So we don't know if we're getting any new support later on in something like burst of destiny or, or something like that and two It's a very interesting build. I feel like there's a lot of gas in this deck uh, But there's a couple things I need to notify first as well one I am NOT playing giant ballpark for a good reason is it because it's not really that many good ways to search out field spells in the game right now like the good ones are limited to one and you don't really see that much and stuff like that so i really went away from that version of the build and this is also just a go second build i feel like uh having the kaijus in your deck and going second kaijuing their board and then setting up an otk is better than trying to go first with this deck i feel like this deck going first doesn't just set up that much amount of stuff so i just felt like the kaiju was the better version of the build but then again this is all your guys's opinion i want to get you guys's thoughts in the comments down below because i really want to make this bet deck as best as it can and i think the kaiju version of the build right now is the best but enough talking for me let's get into the card by card starting off with uh three i'm not even try to pronounce that first one the sticky string kaiju uh maybe i'm playing three of each kaiju is maybe a little too much but i also think this thing is searchable as well with something like resonance insect and stuff like that maybe you can cut it down to two and throw something else you want in here as well but i'm having it at three just so i know i can see a kaiju in hand every hand i play i'm playing the three of the sticky uh sticky string kaiju and three of the mystery dust kaiju as well why these specific two kaiju so they're insects and searchable off the resonance insect as well so not only can you use them to attribute your opponent stuff you can also like combo with them uh, like if they have a kaiju special summon a kaiju on your board start linking off and stuff like that is very very good that's why i'm playing three of each and it's the three pacific ones the, these pacific ones because they're insects as well now onto the uh primitive butterfly three of this is basically just super quantum red layer for the entire deck for insects uh it's basically control no monsters special summon this card out onto your field a pretty pretty interesting uh card here and then once per turn you can increase all levels of insect types by one uh levels by one uh really doesn't come up you're just using it for its special then starting to link off and stuff like that uh three battle wasp the sting poison uh very good card a very good card to normal summon do you normal or special summon this card add one battle wasp monster from your deck to your hand all the other battle wasp monsters you're playing can basically special summon themselves out then it has a quick effect tribute one other insect to target one effect monster on the field to negate its effects very very good but it does have to tribute another insect for its effect to happen again it's just more of a combo piece for the deck and that's why i'm playing it Three Battle Wasps, a Tin Bow the Attacker. Maybe something I should be playing at two, uh, but it's uh, effect during the main phase. You can special summon this card out from your hand. But the bad part is you have to only special summon insects from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, which isn't that much of a problem, but there is some uh, instances where you want to go into something that's not an insect, and this locks you into insects and stuff like that that but it's just something you have to worry about but it's still a very good card to play in the deck we're playing uh three battle watts pin the bullseye as well again just another one that can spell summon itself out if you control an insect spell summon this card and then during the main phase you can inflict 200 damage as well this can also just come up um just to inflict some damage i guess if you need to uh it really doesn't come up like if you're in time or something like that this can, that's when it can come up and stuff like that but then again uh this is all just a very better than battle wasp and tin bow attacker because it can spell summon itself out and it does not lock you into insects why that's why it's super good and then just one battle wasp uh the aerial uh rapid uh, rapid fire this card's normal summon target level three or lower insect monster in your graveyard spell summon that monster uh 
in defense position is a very, very good card there just to keep comboing off and stuff like that with your extra normal summon with uh, Armory Horn, which we'll gain to in just one second. Now to the actual B Trooper stuff. We're playing three B Trooper Scout Buggy, which is a very, very ridiculous card. This card, um, so its top effect is basically you cannot spell summon monsters except for insects while this card is on field. But if this card is normal or special summon, you can uh, spell summon one B Trooper Scout from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So basically, if you normal summon this card, you spell summon another one from your deck, hand, or graveyard, it, that, which is actually pretty good because you end up having two Scout Buggies in your graveyard already and already have one in hand. You can spell someone back from grave as well. This is a very, very good card, but it's a very good thing to stop, so you want to try to chain block it with stuff and like that. Which where we go with B Trooper Scale Bomber, which can actually uh, chain block uh, stuff. If, a, if an insect monster is normal or special summon to your field, special summon this card from your hand, which is very good just to keep comboing off. And then again, chain blocking something like Scout Buggy as well. And then when your opponent activates a, uh, a um, when a monster effect your opponent controls activates effects, tribute one insect monster, destroy it. It doesn't negate it, but it does destroy it if that ends up coming up whatsoever. But it's more just for a combo piece in the deck. Then we're playing uh, two Beat Trooper Sting Lancer, which is honestly a very good card all around. During the main phase, quick effect, target one insect monster in your graveyard and one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Put them to the bottom of the decks and then special summon this card out. So it's basically somewhat like a DD Crow effect. It's something your opponent activates like, let's say, a Drytron Alpha in their graveyard, you can go Sting Lancer, shuffle the Alpha back into deck, and then Spell Summon this card out, which is kind of pretty good in that instance. And then, if this card is normal or Special Summon, add one B Trooper Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand, which you only have three targets in the deck, which we'll just get into in just one second, but a very good card all around. Two, Retaliating C. I really want to play this card at three, because... It, when the hand trap effect of this card comes up, it's a very good hand trap, but I understand that that doesn't actually come up in most instances. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, during either player's turn, when an opponent activates a spell card that includes the effect to special summon a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, while this card is face up on the field, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. So you heard that right. If your opponent just activates a spell card that includes the effect to special summon, spell summon this card, and then it becomes Macrocosmos on the field. It's a very good hand trap when it comes up, but it doesn't come up that often. But you also have to remember this can also respond to ritual spells and uh, fusion spells, which is actually very ridiculous as well. You just got to remember that stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's a very good effect if it comes up. It doesn't really come up that often Why I'm playing it at two, but its bottom effect does come up for the deck If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard add one earth insect monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand Your only targets here is like resident residents insect the goki pole You also have shiny black sea, which I don't know why you would do that. Uh, you also just, I think that's honestly your only targets in the entire deck, but that's honestly pretty good targets for you. Um, two Resonance Insect here. Uh, very, very good card. A lot of uh, the B Trooper stuff I was seeing plays this at one, but I'm playing it at two because there's a lot more targets for it than in the other B Trooper deck profiles. Uh, this basically, if this card is sent to Graveyard, add a level five or higher insect type monster from your deck to your hand. That's why I say the Kaiju stuff is kind of like an extender for you uh, because this basically if sent to grave, sent from uh, sent from the field to graveyard, just basically add a Kaiju to hand, which is very, very nice and why I want to play two of this because there's a lot more targets in this. You can also search something like Sting Lancer from your deck to your uh, deck to your hand. You can also search something like Doom Dozer, which I threw in here, but I'll get into in just one second. And then if this card is banished, which is not that hard to do in this deck, uh, you can send one insect type monster from your deck to the graveyard. And depending on what your hand is, you can send something like a Scout Buggy or Goki Pull or something like that. Speaking of Goki Pull, we're playing just the one of, of Goki Pull. If this card is sent to the graveyard by any means, you can add one level four or level four monster from your deck to your insect monster, my bad, I forgot to specify that, from your deck to your hand. Then if the added monster is a normal monster, you can special summon it. Then you can destroy one monster on the field that has a higher attack, uh, equal than, equal or higher attack to the monster you special summon. So the only target for Goki Pulled normal monster effect is Shiny Black Sea. This is just a 2000 attack vanilla monster. 
Uh, but Goki Pool, I'm only playing it as one of because there's only a couple targets in the deck. Uh, Resonant Insect is a target, but then again, uh, usually you're doing this at the end of Resonant Insect stuff, so you don't want to add that. You can add uh, Retaliating Sea if you want to. You can add the uh, Rapid Fire, but that's really all the targets because they smartly made all the B Troopers level 3, unfortunately, so they're is that so I'm just playing Goki Pool at one and then the only true brick shiny black sea squatter summon you can add it special summon destroy one monster with 2000 or higher attack which is very very good and then the last monster is Doom Dozer again it's searchable off something like Resonant Insect and again you're going second so you're trying to go with the OTK and stuff like that so that's why I'm playing this in here very good card just to special summon you can it's an inherent summon so you can just banish two insect type monsters special summon a doom dozer out into your field if you end up banishing something like resident insect as well you can get that effect off and just a 28 attack a 2800 beater and that's about it there's really nothing to it it's searchable and it can it does a lot of damage and that's about it now on to the spells, which is honestly not that much. We're playing uh, three Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Again, we're playing the Kaijus. Might as well throw this in here. Uh, uh, two uh, B-Trooper Formation, the field spell for the B-Troopers. I'm only playing at two because, again, there's only fucking three B-Troopers monsters in the deck right now. So I'm not tempted to play this at three of with a terraforming because, again, there's really not that many B-Trooper monsters in the entire game right now. And again, you also have to think we have a shit ton of other insects we have to go to as well. Uh, so yeah, just playing this as a two of. And then the one of B-Trooper Fly and Sting as well. The counter trap to the uh, entire deck. Again, both of these cards are searchable off something like Sting Lancer. Watch why we're playing at very low counts. Because again, Sting Lancer can search this out. So yeah, that is it for the entire main deck. And I forget the counter trap. I wasn't even explaining their effects. The counter trap, basically, when your opponent activates a monster effect, while this card, uh, while you have a B-Trooper monster, flip this card up, negate the activation. If you do destroy it, it's a counter trap 3 as well. Uh, and then if this card is in your graveyard and you control an insect monster with 3,000 or more attack, banish one insect monster from your graveyard, set this card onto the field. You can only use one of those effects once per turn, but that's still a very good effect and why we play it at only one. And then B-Trooper Formation, you can target a B-Trooper uh, monster in your graveyard, spell summon it, but it cannot attack, and then you take damage equal to its original attack. And then if a face-up insect monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, spell summon a B-Trooper token out onto the field, and you only use each effect once per turn. Forgot to explain the effects, but now that's it for the entire deck. Now let's get into the extra deck, shall we? We're starting off... With three B Trooper Armor Horn. Very, very good card. It only requires two insect monsters to go into. You cannot spell some monsters except for insect uh, monsters. Uh, you can only use the each of the following effects of this card's name once per turn. During the main phase, quick effect. Immediately after this effect uh, resolves, normal summon one insect monster. So it gives you just another normal summon, so which is very good. And then if this card is in your graveyard, banish 300 insects monsters from your graveyard as cost. Special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. So very, very good to keep recurring. It uh, recurs itself. It gets extra normal summon as well. And it gets the banished thing, so for something like resident insect effect as well. Just a very good card all around. We're playing three of. We're playing two giant B trooper uh, Invisible Atlas. I think that's Invincible, not Invisible. Invincible Atlas. Again, this is a Link 4 monster for the B-Troopers. Two plus insect monsters to go into. While this card is Link, uh, this Link Summon card has 3,000 or less attack. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects as well. Not a bad effect there. You can... You cannot spell summon monsters except for insect monsters while this card is on field. And then you contribute one insect monster, then activate one of these effects. Spell summon one B Trooper monster from your deck or make this card gain 2,000 attack. Not too bad. You contribute off something uh, uh, just like you don't need. Spell summon like a Sting Lancer and then get its effect off and stuff like that. Or just make this gain go up to 5,000 attack, which is also very nice as well. So a very, very good card all around. Now into just some other uh, cards. We're playing Access Code Talker. This is just another Link 4 that you can go into. We're playing um, Seraphium Papillinian. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, it's a Link 3 for the deck. If this card is Link Summon, place one counter on this card for each insect monster used for its Link material. And then Quick Effect, remove one uh, counter from this card. Spell Summon a level 4 or lower insect. Unfortunately, you can only do one of those effects once per turn, which is unfortunate. But unfortunately, you can't do both. Pretty broken if it would be both 
But man, why couldn't you just make it both once per turn? Again, this is just a generic Link 3 monster to go into if you want to go into something like Access Goat Docker and get rid of like the insect or the bee troopers can't spell summon insect uh, cards off the field as well. Oh, there we go. We're playing uh, one Nightmare Unicorn, a Phoenix, uh, just as generic, uh, night, uh, just uh, toolbox and material. We're playing a Sherry Newbie Insect Hag. Sherry Newbie Insect. Let's just go. Uh, Shin uh, Shin Ob Insect. Never mind. I've been mispronouncing it the whole time. Again, this is just another link to Insect Monster that recently came out, which I'm doing right now. Just that's why we're playing this and nothing else. We're playing two Insector Pick. Picoflinia. I'm terrible at pronouncing names, by the way. This is basically just a union carrier for the deck. That's... Mm, holy shit. Yeah, basically just a union carrier for the deck. Two insect monster. If this card is Link Summon, you can discard one card, target one other insect monster you control, equip one insect monster from your deck to it as an equipped spell and gains this effect, which makes that equipped monster gain 500 attack. Very, very good. Again, union carrier is banned for a reason, so when insects have a union carrier themselves it's very good so you can equip something like resonance insect or something like retaliating c or go key pull and get their immediately just link it off and go into their effects immediately from graveyard that's why it's so good that the thing is a fucking union carrier of all things it does have to target another insect and you also have to discard so it's a little bit worse than union carrier but it's still very good and then its bottom effect also does come up as well target three insect monsters in your graveyard shuffle them into the deck draw one card also just comes up as well remember that effect we're playing at two because this card is ridiculous we're playing a celebrate al mirage because it comes up uh there and there here and there so that's why it's in here and then number three cicada king you can make this because there's a lot of level three insect monsters in the thing and this is basically just a monster to get which is very very nice so that is it for the entire deck for the side deck droll lancia ash Twin Twister, Harpy's Feather Duster, Red Reboot, Imperial Order. There's really nothing else to say about that. That's a bet. That is it for the entire deck profile. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content on the channel. Yes, I know this ain't the best version of the build, and I hope I just hope this deck gets more support in the future. Because there is potential here. I just want to see this deck uh thrive. Because this deck is has so much potential. I love playing with the deck and stuff like that. Uh, really hope there's more support in like something like Burst of Destiny. But yep, that is it for the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!